has to grow in double digits on a sustained basis. Our manufacturing companies need to become an integral part of global supply chains, possess core competence and cutting edge technology. To achieve all of the above, PLI schemes to create manufacturing global champions for an Atmanirbhar Bharat have been announced for 13 sectors. For this, the government has committed nearly 1.97 lakh crores over five years starting this financial year. This initiative will help bring scale and size in key sectors, create and nurture global champions, and provide jobs to our youth. Textiles. To enable the textile industry to become globally competitive, attract large investments, and boost employment generation, a scheme of mega investment textile spark will be launched in addition to the PLI schemes. This will create world-class infrastructure with plug-and-play facilities to enable create global champions in exports. Seven textile parks will be established over three years. Infrastructure. The National Infrastructure Pipeline which I announced in December 2019 is the first of its kind. Whole of government exercise ever undertaken by Government of India. The NIP was launched with 6,835 projects. The project pipeline has now expanded to 7,400 projects. Around 217 projects worth rupees 1.10 lakh crores under some key infrastructure ministries have been completed. The NIP is a specific target which this government is committed to achieving over the coming years. It will require major increase in funding from both the government and the financial sector. In this budget, I propose to take concrete steps to do this in three ways. Firstly, by creating the institutional structures. Secondly, by a big thrust on monetizing assets. And thirdly, by enhancing the share of capital expenditure in central and state budgets. Infrastructure needs long-term debt financing. A professionally managed development financial institution is necessary to act as a provider, enabler, and catalyst for infrastructure financing. Accordingly, I shall introduce a bill to set up a development financial institution. I have provided a sum of 20,000 crore rupees to capitalize this institution. The ambition is to have a lending portfolio of at least 5 lakh crores for this DFI within three years' time. Debt financing of invits and rates by foreign portfolio investors will be enabled by making suitable amendments in the relevant re legislations. This will further ease access of finance to invits and rates, thus augmenting 